Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see GitHub Copilot in VS Code by using a GUI. GitHub Copilot will create a new .NET web API. We will see, we will build this .NET applications, we will run these applications. Also, we will create a new files in existing applications and using a GitHub Copilot and see how it is works. So I have opened my VS Code and you can see I have one folder open that does not have anything. So we will create a new web API through GitHub Copilot. So don't wait. Let's get started. You can see here there is a one GitHub Copilot icon and you can open the chat here. Here you have see there is a GitHub Copilot chat window. You can ask the GitHub Copilot to whatever you need. So first of all, we'll create a new Apple.NET applications. Here we will give the command create a new .NET web API in the .NET. It with simple. Let's see what GitHub Copilot is providing the results. It start uh, determining the user intent and all the other. It will be search the templates and just give the output. So what he has created? He has created one dummy uh, weather forecast controllers. Uh, use for that it's used with forecast uh, model and it has uh, some different different property whatever is required it's created one program files and let's see is uh, swag reasonable or not yes this has given the swagger ui also so we will uh, create this workspace and you can see is a uh, .NET uh, web API is created automatically. Just we need to select which folder is required. We will select the same folder and uh, you can see start creating the our .NET web API projects. And this web API project is ready. So in general before uh, when we are doing a manually what we have to do? We have to open the our folder. We need to create a Okay, for the applications, the same things we have given, but it's in a by using the GitHub Copilot. Now this application is created, but it's in normal scenario. What we have to do? We need to create a right click. We need to open the terminal. Terminal. We need to give the command. Now what we will do? will tell the github copilot to open the terminal and build my web api so we will tell to terminal build my dotnet applications build my dotnet web api It has provided to command to us. So we will now insert this command to terminal using a GitHub Copilot. So there is a one um, uh, icon you can see by clicking this insert command, it will be inserted. Now just we need to hit and run, uh, enter the command. So it will be our application is built. Great. I like this command. Now to terminal to tell run my .NET API again it's provided commands and we will insert this command and run it. Just run the applications. 
so we just need to open these applications you can see swagger is also open that's the beauty of this github copilot just check it like it's uh, working actually or not we'll just execute this weather forecast and try to execute it's provide the results also wow great and by using a github copilot we can do we can create a new applications we have build that applications we have run that applications also we have valid weather forecast data we will try to create our cust i need to create a customer if api where it can be create our customer edit our customer data delete our customer data so we need one customer api with crude operations so let's try to uh, give the command to our github copilot to create a customer api and let's assume like we are providing the the customer as a four parameter like first name last name and uh, one number in email so let's uh, create so we will uh, tell to our uh, github copilot create a customer with first name like this first name last name phone number email address and what are the things we require we need models repository services and controller for customer with this parameters let's say github copilot can able to do this well it's created it's created and it is giving the output to us like it's created our customer class it's created our customer uh, repo interface or uh, with using add update delete get all the command it's created our customer repository also it's created services and customer control now what we need to select this create our new files how oh, it will be so we do not need to do like that just only click here three dots there is a insert into new files that's it so there is a things like uh, it's insert into new files you can uh, click the control save it but yeah this is the this things by using the chat window there is a two things one is a chat window one is a copilot edits when you use this uh, github copilot chat window you have to do manually such as like you have uh, you can insert into this new files but this new files you have to save it right and you need to create a new folder such as see currently actually it is coming outside but we need to create our model we need to create our model in this model uh, folder 
we need to save this our model in our this model folder not in a weather forecast but in a this model folder but these things we need to set manually but only okay so let's wait we'll not do manually we'll tell to get a copilot do it for us so first of all just remove time I will remove this just unnecessary folders so which command we have used same command we will use it create the word model but we will not save it manually github will save for us So you can see, so see, I have first of all I have used our this GitHub Copilot chat to create the command. It has created our customer controller with models and services. But now I will use the Copilot edit and provide the same command. Let's see what it will do for us. It has created model controller services repository, but our parent directory is a .NET. Our parent directory is a .NET, so he has created all this in our prior parent directory. So first of all, we need to change the directory. We remove this all the things. I don't need, I need everything is fine. .NET Web API. I will go ahead, I will open the folder. I will change my directory. Now I have opened my .NET WPI folders. Again, I will open my chat. I don't need a chat window. I will create a. I will tell to go get a copilot edits to create the models, repo, and services for the customers. So you can see, like it starts editing here, customers, repository services controller now your tax is you just need to verify that this all the details is right or not if you feel this is the right just accept it accept it will be used it will be created your own and you need to just save it Same thing, see the I customer repository, it is right, whatever is created. If you feel this, all the information is right, just accept it. It will be created for you. Same thing, just check it here. This information is right or wrong. So what is done, it is a create one local variable, customer variable, so it will be Whenever you add the data, that local variables will be in the stores. So this is also I feel that's right. Check the service. Select it. Check the customer services. If you feel is okay, and check the one controller. Now, one file is missing, I think it's not added, service to the end. I think dependency injection is missing.
Okay, let me see, like uh, when we feel okay. Let me close this, all the files. Again, once again, we will go to the in our uh, GitHub Copilot chat window. Intel to terminal. Build my .NET web uh, API. Build. Run my dot See, these are all the small commands. It's low, you feel like okay, means better I better I, if I write this uh, in a chat, better I can write in dot net run in use it. But when you see to creating this controller means model create model controllers repo, you feel like GitHub Copilot is good. So we'll uh, run this application and see. You can see this, right? Swagger. In a Swagger, it is a added a customer controller. So that's it for today. We'll see some other new features in for the GitHub Copilot in the next video. Thank you.